Hello everybody, welcome to my channel Crypto Explorer. This is uh, going to be part 3 of my mining video. Um, I've got my miner together and I've basically got the cards installed and after I got all the cards installed I made sure that it was working properly. But now I need to um, mod the BIOS and I'm going to open up Awesome Miner here and you can see what kind of mega hash I'm getting right now just mining Ethereum. I'm going to start Awesome Miner and click Start. Right now I only have a single card in here. Um, I'm planning on modding the BIOS of each card one by one so I've removed um, the, car the other five cards so I can test every single one after I mod it, mod the BIOS. So here we have Awesome Miner starting up and we're going to see what kind of hash we're getting on this GPU. So as you can see right now it's 26.72 mega hash per second. So I'm just going to stop this and close Awesome Miner. So to mod the BIOS for these cards, this card in particular, this is the RX 580, um, there are three main tools you need. ATI Flash, um, ATI uh, Patcher, and this Polaris BIOS Editor. I downloaded all them already. I'll put links in the description. And then I extracted them here and just, just for the, because I'm going to be doing so many cards, I created shortcuts to each file, to each program in these folders. So like ATI Flash, there's the application, but I just created the shortcut. So the very first thing we want to do, and I've, I've already did a couple uh, cards already, So, but um, I just want to go through one card uh, before I finish them all. The uh, first thing you want to do is go to ATI Win Flash and right click it and select Run as Administrator, and then select Yes. So very first thing, I want to back up my current BIOS. So I'm going to click here, Save, and then I'm going to save it into this folder I created called BIOS and backups. And I'm just going to call this uh, RX8580-4 ROM and click save. And then wait a bit while it saves the BIOS. And click continue. And then we're going to go to the Polaris, Polaris BIOS editor, click yes, click open BIOS, and we're gonna open the BIOS that we just backed up, which is number four here. And then we're just gonna click the one click timing patch, click okay, and click okay. And then we're gonna click save as, and I'm gonna save this in this modded folder I created, and call it number four. And we're going to close. The very next thing we do is go back to the ATI Win Flash, and then I'm going to click Load Image, and I'm going to go to the BIOS Mod 4 that I just created. Click Open, and click Program. Now, when it's doing this, um, you, on my particular uh, screen capture, you're going to see that it gets disconnected from the remote desktop session that I'm um uh, logging into my um mining rig from uh, but if you're not if you're using uh if you're mining directly you're not going to see this but as you can see after a couple of seconds you're going to we're going to get back in and it's going to show that it is um it's been applied and we need to reboot so let's just wait a bit here Okay, and you can see here it says your vBIOS was programmed successfully. So let's click OK. Give it a minute to go. I might have to remote in one more time. But sometimes it does take a while. 
Okay, now you see it says here you have to reboot the system before the changes take effect. We're just going to click no because we have to do one more thing. Okay, so the final step that needs to be done is this ATI KMDAG patcher. So let's run this. Actually, let me click no, right click and run as administrator and then click yes. Now, all we got to do is just click yes to patch the values. Click OK, and now we can reboot. So because I am in a remote session, I'm going to type the reboot command. And I'll be right back. OK, we are back, and I've just rebooted. So I'm going to launch Awesome Miner, and let's see what kind of uh, hash rate we are getting now with the modded BIOS. Click start. And wait for it to go. And Taking a bit. It's reporting at 29 already out here, but it's not, uh, but I kind of want to see it actually in the, there you go, 29. And that's it. So um, I'm going to go now and do the rest of the cards and hopefully we'll see a much bigger boost. Um, by default, um, I all six cards was giving me roughly 169 mega hash per second. So um, getting it up near 30 would be a, a nice, uh, 30 per card would be a, a very nice boost. Okay, thank you for watching.